it is in fact Memorial Day. Yep. You're talking about cookouts, you're talking about pool parties, kicking off the unofficial start of spring. I understand it. But we also have to remember why Memorial Day does indeed matter. It's a stark reminder that freedom is not free. The United States and the freedom for which it stands, the freedom for which they died, must endure and prosper. Their lives remind us that freedom is not bought cheaply. It has a cost. It imposes a burden. And just as they whom we commemorate were willing to sacrifice, so too must we, in a less final, less heroic way, be willing to give of ourselves. Yeah, remember him? Americans coast to coast will commemorate the more than 1.1 million brave men and women who have died defending our country. The solemn occasion dates back to the deadliest conflict ever. We're talking about the Civil War, originally named Decoration Day. It was first observed on May 30th, 1868. The peaceful day chosen because it wasn't associated with battle. Now, 100 years later, Congress passed the Uniform Monday Holiday Act, officially making Memorial Day a federal holiday on the last Monday in May, creating a three-day weekend, which we're going to experience now. So, while you enjoy the next couple of days, and you should with your family and friends, and that's great, I want you to remember, America is the land of the free because it's the home of the brave. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.